Hello everyone, welcome again. In this software testing tutorial, we are going to learn objectives of software testing. So this is continuation of the previous two tutorials. If you haven't watched them, please watch, watch those tutorials first before you come into the objectives of software testing because all of the tutorials are in continuation. If you're learning from scratch and want to get job into software testing, please watch in sequence so that you understand the concepts very easily. Objectives of software testing, I'll cover four key objectives that will be good enough for you to basically explain to interviewer about the objectives of software testing, right? So the first objective, very common, you would know, to find defects and prevent defects, right? So first objective is find defects, all right? When you're testing the software, the first objective is to basically, when you run the software, when you are going through the documentation or the requirement, your objective is to ensure that the documentation is clear, it doesn't have any gaps or there are no documentation defect or any other obvious defect that you can find by reading the document, right? When you execute the software, so for example, an e-commerce website you are testing, you launch the website, you are adding item into the cart, then the item is getting added, right? So if the item is not getting added, that's basically, you know, a defect. You are finding a defect. You found the defect that when I add the item into the cart, uh, item is not getting added, right? So finding the defect, right? So on a similar note, preventing defect, right? Prevent defect so when you do the you know dynamic so when you actually launch the e-commerce portal and you perform the steps that's what you are doing in terms of finding defect but when you are going through the documentation you are having a communication with the business analyst or the business people and the developers and then before the development actually started you are uh, writing the test cases and ensuring that the there are no gaps in the requirement that's basically preventing the defect right so you are preventing the defect you are providing your inputs uh, to the team uh, and making sure that all the obvious you know scenarios or the test uh, scenarios that you will be going to test are being covered when a developer actually tries to implement you know the the code for that particular software, right? First objective, very important, very common. Second is about to ensure that the product is of good quality, right? So good quality. How do you ensure that the product is of good quality? Now you found the defect, which in turn will improve the product or the most obvious failures in the product will be found very early when you are testing, right? So which in turn gives you a better quality or a good quality of the product. The more you test, the better it becomes, the better that particular software becomes, right? So you are in turn making the quality of the product good. Now, it is not just about finding defect, but as a software tester or as a testing team, you ensure that all other aspects, say for example, look and feel, right? Look and feel how the web interface is, is you know, visible, how the overall navigation is there. Uh, so all those aspects are also being, you know, verified by you when you are testing. So that ensures that the look and feel, the UI, the interface is looking fine and which in turn ensures that it is a good quality software. That's the second objective of software testing, right? The third objective is basically to determine that the software meets the product requirements, okay? So software meets product requirements. What does this mean? So product requirements, when we say product requirement, is the, it is the requirement that is coming from the business or from the customer, okay? Say for example, 
I run a software company and I have taken a project of, you know, uh, a, a bank and a bank wants to implement a portal, uh, a web portal to capture the customer's data. Okay. So they will provide me the requirements. All right. So they'll provide me that I want this portal, which should work in Chrome, in Firefox. So these are the supported browsers. It should work and it should have functionality to basically simple page launch. So, um, you know, register a customer. So there should be a button on the home page register. When somebody clicks on register, it should open a form to enter the detail, first name, last name, and whatever details they want, right? So these are some of the things that could come as a requirement in very simple, you know, scenarios. So when you are actually implementing that particular, uh, you know, software or application, these requirements need to be met when the development is actually happening. So the third objective of software testing is, so when uh, my organization is developing that particular product, the software testing team within that particular organization or the team that is working on that particular product will ensure that whatever requirements uh, the customer has provided, software testing is actually ensuring or the team is ensuring that those requirements are being met into the application, right? Similar to what I have explained in the add cart or remove items from the cart in e-commerce. So add cart is one of the feature or the requirement. If that is not working, uh, when you are actually executing or you are trying to add item in the e-commerce cart, that is not meeting the product requirement, right? And then you raise the defect for it and the developer fixes it, you retest it and you try to add the item into cart again. So that's how you ensure that the product requirements are being met. Third objective, very important objective of software testing, right? Fourth one, fit for use. You ensure as a software tester or a team, you ensure that it is fit for use, right? I'll say software is fit for use okay so what does exactly you know fit for use means right so for example customer has given you a requirement i want to make a car uh, which has four you know wheels okay so say for example you are a development company or you are you are a manufacturer okay and you have created a car pardon me for my drawing uh, and this is this is the you know structure you have made and you have you know so these are the wheels say for example okay four wheels so it meets the product requirement right I mean customer asked for something like a car and uh, you know four wheels so there are four wheels but is it fit for use Will you be able to drive it? I mean, will you be able to use this car and go anywhere, right? It, it's not possible, you know, you, you have fitted the wheels in a totally different spot, right? So this is what happens most of the time in the actual product development. You get the requirement, but then customer has asked for something, um, you know, fit in four wheels, but you haven't clarified where exactly do I have to fit four wheels in this particular, you know, um, interface. So this is the very usual scenario that happens. And this is what we need to ensure as a testing team. It is our responsibility or the overall team's responsibility, basically, to question, basically, yes, we are fitting these, you know, four wheels, but where are we fitting? Whether uh, this is actually fit for use. Once this application will be ready for use, will this actually help the customer or is it fit for use or not, right? So this is one of the, you know, just general example that I have taken, but in actual software scenario with your testers hat or testing, you know, skills that we'll be learning in this course, this is what you will be, you know, able to learn and analyze that, you know how you can figure out fit whether the requirement you are getting going through those whether those are fit for use or ensure that whatever has been built by the development team is fit for use or not right 
So these are some of the key objectives of software testing. Now, if you try to get into the detail of, you know, there are, you, you can get into fit for use into a lot more detail. You can also get into non-functional requirements, so which, which I'll cover later in, in uh, you know, a detailed tutorial anyways. But for interview point of view, just remember, these are the four key objectives of testing that you need to understand and also learn how you can explain these in the real scenarios to the interviewer, which will really help you to get into software testing job. And that's all for this particular tutorial. Hope it was helpful. Helpful. Hope I was able to, you know, clarify it as much as I can from my experience. So please do share if you find it useful. Thank you very much for watching.